So we're going to ask the foreign governments to reconsider their table and That's a normal course of action. But we will we will also convey our okay, so certain questions and things like what this officially conveyed to us, being an ally. Um, in, there are certain implications that we are also studying, but we will express our displeasure that uh, we believe that there is no adequate basis. There are suggestions that we should, especially in the light of your, I think there was a, an incident involving an aircraft of one of these countries that happened in a third country. You know, but at this point, yeah, you, you, don't wanna, you don't want to follow examples which we believe were not prudent. Is there another issue? Po? Um, can we have your thoughts? No, we, yes, sir. <laughs> last name po. Can we have your thoughts on the state of the politics in the U.S.? Um, President Obama actually will be you know, their, their economy, which impacts on the economy of the entire world, uh, is really in, in a series of strengths. No, that uh, obviously, as the chief executive, will be blamed correctly or incorrectly for all of it. Um, that will perhaps uh, impact on his on his governance, uh, especially since uh, they they've lost uh, the majority in the house, not specifically. But uh, you know, America is a resilient economy, has a resilient economy. The democratic processes have uh, been really and firmly institutionalized. So we believe there will be no major changes as far as their involvement in Southeast Asia is concerned. Sir, my issue from order and that, Supreme Court. That's 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 sorry, sir. Okay. Nag order po ang Supreme Court kanina. Pinasasagot po ang uh, kayo po doon sa. Uh, petition na kinail na I, uh, against dun sa EO Executive Order Number no. Seven po. Ano po? Can I just check on that? I haven't seen it, and I don't know if they will order me to answer anything because I am part of a co-equal branch, and I am supposed to be not subject to suit yes. by anybody. So, yung to answer it is a part and parcel of the process of uh, checks and balances within our country. And we believe what we did was right, and uh, the pertinent officials of our administration will be responding. Sir, okay. November 29th, holiday daw po ba on the ipit po siya sa <laughs> Sunday and Thursday, uh, Tuesday? Titignan ko muna ng gusto, para yung pag may nag-holiday, may natutuwa ang mga mag-aaral, may nagagalit ng mga nagsisweldong pang-araw-araw, uh, pang at uh, malaki impact rin ng ano. Ang, sa, ang opinion ng Dolin, uh, pinakamalaki impact sa atin pag inumpisa mo yung linggo na nag-holiday. Mm. No? Para apektado na raw yung productivity ng buong linggo. So, habang tayo nagsasabing gusto nating taasan yung job generation, syempre yung productivity ng workers natin na malaking bagay doon, yung competitiveness natin magmumula rin doon, kailangan medyo-medyo sa pagpapasok ng mga holiday. Alam naman, yung papasok na tayo sa Pasko, at yung Pasko for all intents and purposes, tayo yata pinakamalaking mag-celebrate ang Kapaskuhan na umaabot na lang at dos ng Inero. So, uh, babalabalansin natin lahat ng interest. At uh, pili natin yung decision, mga kabuti sa nakakarami. Kasi in, in our system, there will be, parang there are raw reports. The raw report has to go analysis. It has to undertake an analysis. Is this plausible? Is the person delivering the information reliable? Now, parang, there are so many tests before you act on pieces of intelligence. In this particular case, the way it was explained to me, it seemed that in the raw was, or, was almost the same as having had it validated. Uh, but there was, instead of it, there was certainty that this is going to happen. But that's the message, certainty that it was going to happen. The, it was lost in translation that, no, this is wrong. We are just uh, exercising utmost caution in informing our citizens. As opposed to declaring that we are sure that this will happen. The sure part was lost in the translation. Or the not sure part was not brought out properly. Hence, yung, there is a, you know, para it impacts negatively on our tourism immediately. It adds unnecessary anxiety to our citizens and those that will be coming to us. So, one has to question whether that was prudent. So, you had lost interpretation in your media, sir? I won't say no one, notice of a travel advisory. Perhaps you, you, know, you don't expect naman media to have the capability to be intelligence analysts. <laughs> and you know, I don't, I don't know if you were given priority to all of the sources of information that led to this. In the same token that I am not sure that we were given official notice 
So this is gonna happen. So masada po mabilis po yung pag-issue ng company mo tayo sa yung date mo tayo siya. Kanya-kanyang bansa, kanya-kanyang pangailangan eh. Ang pagkaitin natin sa Australia, talaga nagkaroon sila na question kung napangalagaan nila mga kababayan nila adequately, especially sa Bali, Indonesia. Ayaw nila maulit ulit yan. Ayaw nila makasuhan siguro ulit. So, pag mayroon pang konting-konting balita, ito kailangan para masabi, oops, ay, nawarin na namin kayo. As opposed to who? Di ba? Parang talaga, dito talaga kayo pupunta, tinignan namin mabuti, sinuri namin na maayos, at talaga mapanganib sa inyo. Hindi yata ganun naman dyan. Okay, thank you. Okay.